blue, everybody, this is a child, yellow, orange, green, and bluebell class. <clears throat> okay, it's Monday, September 14th. We're going to get continue with our grappling theme this week. So we have to do a brief grappling warm-up. I'm not going to break down the shrimping. Okay, I'm going to show it to you, though. We did grab shrimping all last week. If you don't know what shrimping is, it's your job to go back to last week's classes. Okay, so start with some simple shrimping drills. There. Lift the hips. Shrimp away. Lift the hips, shrimp away. Lift the hips, shrimp away. Lift the hips, shrimp away. I want you to spend a couple minutes shrimping around your house. So pause video, do that, come back when you're done. Okay, next drill right here. So my Bailey's gonna lay on his back. My partner, his partner's gonna stand over him, so I'm gonna stand over his hips. He's gonna do partner shrimping here. So go ahead, put your hands on the shins and shrimp out. Keep going, good, keep going, good, 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 and then it's my turn, okay? Pause the video, come back when you guys are done. All right, welcome back. <clears throat> We're also gonna do our break falling and our tactical stand up, stand up, also known as standing in base, okay? So together, right here, set by Bailey. We're gonna do 10 of these, okay? We fall down, break, fall, and then we stand in base. The next time we stand in base, we're gonna stand in base on the opposite side. We stand in base, good. And we're alternating. So you're gonna do 10 of those on both sides. Pause the video, come back when you guys are done. Okay, next drill, we're gonna do some bear crawling with a wag, a wag of the tail. You're gonna bear crawl around your whole backyard or do the perimeter of your house. Okay, or maybe a few laps in your hallway, okay? So hands are down and we're just gonna wag the tail. Okay, pause the video, do your bear crawls. Come back when you're done. Okay, welcome back. Now guys, I gotta warn you, if you're not pausing the video to do each of these exercises and you're just watching us do them, you're missing the whole point of the class. So make sure you're pausing, discipline. Next one is called bear crawls. I mean, not bear crawls, okay, gorilla walks. When we do a gorilla walk, my fists are gonna be in this position, the exact opposite position of what I tell you normally to punch in. Instead of being here, you're gonna be here, okay? Boy, I have my Eagles wedding band on today. They did not do so good yesterday, did they? Oof, oh well. All right, so bear crawls are gonna be like this. Put our hands down, reach out, Bring back the feet forward at the same time. Watch that again. Your fist can't be here because you roll your wrist. It's gotta be like this. Reach out. Okay. Bear crawls around the house. Pause video, come back when you guys are done. <coughs> nope. Alright guys. <clears throat> now this is a yellow through blue belt class. I want to really quickly review our grappling positions, and then we're going to get into something called the four-point clock drill. Grappling positions and the four-point clock drill. So the first position we need to know, stand by Bailey, lay on your stomach. Okay, slide back. Okay, this, this position right here we know is called dead man's position. You never ever turn your back to your opponent. If your back is to your opponent, then you can't defend yourself. Punch me, kick me. Okay, nothing he can do. I can hit him, I can elbow him, I can choke him, I can bounce his head off the floor like a basketball. Never, ever, ever turn your back to your opponent. Flip over. Next position, this is called the mount. From the mount position, somebody Bailey at least has his hands in front of him so he can try to protect himself. But eventually, one of those strikes that we worked on last week with the ground and pound is gonna get through. So it's, it's still a very bad position for him to be underneath me, but at least his hands are in front to try to grab, to try to reverse me, or do something like that, okay? But eventually, something's gonna get through and do punishment on him. So this is the mount position. The next position right here, this is called the side mount. When we do the side mount, my hand goes under his head, under his arm, I have a gable grip, my knees are wide and my chest is down on his chest, okay? This is the side mount. Now, the gable grip, Taught by Dan Gable, the Olympic wrestler. You're gonna put your hands like this, 
thumbs are connected. And they're gonna plant together and the fingers overlap the thumbs there, okay? We're not lacing the thumb around because then the thumb becomes easy to peel off. So this is called a gable grip, gable grip, okay? So we're gonna side to my belly. Okay, again, right here, my knee, knees are as wide as they can. My hips are per perpendicular to him. I slide my hand under his head, under his arm, gable grip, chest on chest, nice and strong, okay? Last position we need to know, pop up. There's <coughs> a guard position right here. In the guard position, set by Bailey is inside of my legs. See, I can use my legs to power him in and extend him back, okay? He's got his hands around my hips and he's postured up, so I can't reach him easily, okay? This is called the guard. Bottom person has control here, okay? Let's turn that to the side. That's the guard right there, up high around his waist. Now, Bailey's gonna demonstrate it, okay? Go ahead. This is dead man's position, top person has control. Okay, let me flip over please. This is called the mount, top person has control. Okay, now he's gonna go to the side mount. Okay, his hands are clasped together. Good, gable grip. I got my one arm here on his hip, the other arm across his throat. Okay, this is the side mount, top has control, okay. And finally, we have the guard. Okay, and he wraps tight. And there's his guard around my waist. Notice I'm not laying down where he can pound on my face or choke me easy. I play my hands on his hips. I posture up just like this. This is called the, the guard. These are your control positions, okay? So I want you to grab a partner and run through those control positions. Pause the video. Come back when you're done. Okay, welcome back. All right, guys, so today we are going to start learning the four-point clock drill. The four-point clock drill is a, is a transition drill where we transition from position to position on top without relieving any weight on the opponent. So we want to get to different positions around our opponent without taking our weight off and giving them room to escape. Okay, so I'm gonna start on my back, so my bailey's gonna start on the mount. We'll show you this from a couple angles here, guys. Now this is primarily green and blue belt drill, but I don't have any problem with yellow and orange belts practicing this early. Okay, so from here, Senpai Bailey has a low mount. He's got his chest down on my chest. He wants his chest down on my chest. During these transitions, he does not wanna lift up because that gives me room to escape, okay? So he's gonna be down on my chest. Now, he's gonna to go to the side mount. So he slides his hand under my neck and he fishes his hand under my arm, gets his gable grip and he transitions around. Good, so now he's in his side mount, okay? From here, he's gonna rotate around again. He's gonna get the reverse mount. Okay, so now he's in a reverse mount. If you can notice, we're gonna turn to the side so you can see the positioning. He's chest on chest, okay? He's, he's, he's above my waistline. His face is not down on my groin. He's riding heavy with his chest on my chest. Now he's gonna to go to the side mount on the other side. So he drives my arm across, down the head. Okay, right there. Good, and now from here he goes back to the mount. Good. Now we're gonna show it to you from the side. Okay, so here we go. He's gonna show it to the side. Underneath the head, underneath the arm. That's important, you have to have that far side underhook. It stops me from doing a lot of reversals. Now from here he's gonna work his way to the side mount. Okay, now he releases this arm, brings it around under my shoulder. Traps the hip, comes to the other side. Good. Now he's going to go to the, the side mount on the other side. Gets his underhook and under my head. Keep his knees wide and his hips low. Now he's going to work his way back to the mount. All right. 
That's our four point clock drill, hop up. Ideally, you have a partner to work on. If you don't, maybe you have a giant stuffed animal, uh, maybe you've made an ookie like this, or you use a big pad or pillow, okay? You can certainly use a kicking shield or anything like that, okay? So go ahead, do the drill quick. <coughs> it's got the underhook, works around, good, and it's gonna work the underhook there. He's high in the chest, works around. Good, and back to the mount. Awesome. All right, guys. So our keyword for today is grapple. That's our keyword for today, grapple. Grappling is like wrestling or ground fighting. Okay, anytime we're hands on with an opponent and we're, we're, grappling, we're wrestling around, it becomes grappling. We end up on the ground, especially that's commonly known as a grappling match, okay? All right, guys, your drills, know your positions and your four point clock drill. Thanks for training hard today, guys. Thanks for being Lima Strong. We'll see you online. We'll see you on the mat. Peace.